these ultra liberal out of touch people yeah and these people are talking about uh one of the guys was talking about donald trump's words being taken out of context that it would be a bloodbath because he was talking about the auto industry and yeah. the economy and then this guy starts bringing up other episodes of violent rhetoric rhetoric it's hilarious but you yeah, guys watch this look Give me some oh, Give me some God. Well, no. What I guess seized on those comments and said they were an example of him calling for political yeah. violence or predicting violent actions if he didn't win in November. His supporters said that those comments were taken out of context. I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. Trump has a history of using violent rhetoric dating back to his 2016 campaign. That language took on new significance after the January 6th attack on the Capitol in 2021. And throughout his third campaign for president, he's been getting a lot of attention for the way he talks about violence and retribution on the trail. He suggested <laughs> exactly. that general See? So this is the New York Times. It's all falling this apart. This is these hard-nosed reporters with the cup of coffee that are like chasing down leads and they're pulling their hair out and they're, they're meeting people in back alleyways. This is Woodward and Bernstein. Do people think that's this still? This is Watergate. Like, like <laughs> no, but I mean, they're they're essentially like ultra hard left activists that are masquerading as journalists, and everything has their opinion on it. They're Every also, they're front also, page article. Yeah, they're also masquerading as activists. They're bourgeois twits. Yeah. They have a lifestyle brand, which is I'm a Sex in the City guy or gal, and I work in the paper. They uh -huh. do the same amount of work as when you see those a day in the life of Google. First yeah. they go to the chair. It's Twitter. Yeah, that yeah, video. Whatever. That video they, is amazing. Yeah, and they don't. They don't even make that. Well, New York Times. That's the big time. So all the plum jobs. You know, like. It's all. It's kind of similar to uh, when people were mad that Seinfeld. They were like demanding, you know, why riding in uh, to get coffee with Seinfeld in cars isn't a diverse enough. Yeah. And he goes, because and Seinfeld, every time they bring these things up to him, I I love his fucking response to that. But at a place like the New York Times, they have to go. Oh, we need to bring these. So all all like. Exa how exactly you put it, the, you could guess what they look like. All of them have moved up from like the gamer gate. Which at the time I was an adult and I was like, I don't care about this. But they've all we're moving up in the world of media because wh where's the money coming from? You got to hope you do well enough at uh, making little smear articles on a shitty video game website to get picked for the big leagues. And some people did. Yeah. And they've been moving up. And then you re like me, I like, I'm, oh my god, twenty years have passed. And then I see like that's that sh little twerp. Like if uh, the the one that got Shane fired actually went somewhere in life. If I find, like, there's people like him that work with the DHS <laughs> to, about the terrorism of, uh, you know, saying whatever, whatever the fuck this idiot's referring to. Well, yeah, they've, they're, they've become embedded in the intelligence community. Well, they're all, it's all a thing of like your career, right? If you want your career, mm -hmm. you can either say the truth about a thing, about yeah. a thing, or you can worry, oh, you must not want to have a good career. Yeah. Oh, your career. Uh, go keep all people have to do is not be a punk to their career. I'm not saying careers don't matter. I'm saying um, I will never be a bitch to a fucking career. Like, who would do that? Yeah, but you don't have to. See, the difference between you and a guy working in government, it's very stark, stark contrast. Oh, no, in government, You're you have. You're a comic. Ha yeah. Yeah. Well, but even comedian incentives got perverse, perverted. Like, I work in government at a certain point. Did they, though? Yeah. Well, only, okay. they, did, they only did with people that suck. Not, they, they didn't with good comics. Okay, I don't mean like I'm not. I would never say that dumb shit. Be like, like woke is killing comedy. No, comedy is a thing that's been around the whole time. What it'll kill is like your Disney fucking corporate uh, figuring out how to sell it to people. Yeah, that's killing that. Yeah, the movies. Right, but not stand up's the lowest rung, dude. This right. is the one like. Oh, we, I see it. To, we were laughing last night. I was only telling Ian about people go. Hey, he's a failed comic. What I think they mean Who is. Who said that? Oh, people, it's like an insult people throw around. To who? About who? Well, uh, the example I'm thinking of while I say this is because I sidekick on Jimmy's show, there's a bunch of people that are like hardcore blue no matter who that were like friends of his and well, Martin that are like, you, you're despicable. <laughs> like this unbelievable, it's your duty. You know, like the, it's your duty to vote for the lesser of two evils. Remember the 2016 shit mm -hmm. of like the moral outrage, right? And then- but your choices are, I didn't pick the right evil for you, That's and you, you're you judging me for that. Because you didn't take a stand in the right There's direction. There's nobody who's not evil, that's the though. the only way it's going to work they out They don't even say us. the right. They don't say the right direction. Right. They go, 
the less evil direction. Like right. I'm supposed, my heart's supposed to swell Wait, with emotion. Also, you're not supposed to stand up and say, "Hey, both of these things suck." Because if you do, then you're you're on the wrong side. But mine's better, though. Admit that. Mm.